that series wasn't very good. So instead of going game by game and breaking down what happened like I have been the last two episodes, I'm going to talk about the series as a whole for two reasons. One, I didn't get to watch much of the last game. I haven't been feeling 100%, not like horrible, but not 100% the last few days. And those games are hard to watch. Those are really some hard games to watch. I think it should go without a shadow of a doubt that the dud of the series was the starting pitching. Even Jake Garrietta, who got a win in the first game, really didn't pitch well. And then Davies and Williams just didn't have it. They struggled. It, it was an ugly series from the pitching standpoint. However, their bullpen actually did a pretty decent job of keeping the damage to a minimal. Especially Craig Kimbrell, who was probably going to get the MVP of the series for that five out save, because that's just an amazing thing to do. Coming in with bases loaded and get five outs. Wow. Okay. When it comes to our hitting, I have a couple observations I want to talk about, but I want to stress that it's important not to overreact to the third series of the year. Very important. We're still not doing very well at getting runners across in scoring position. That's kind of more of a timely thing. I kind of think it's more of a fluky thing, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. And the reason I'm not going to worry about it too much is because when we make contact, we are ripping the ball off its cover. I want to say when we make contact because there's and I want to say when we make contact because there's a lot of strikeouts happening this year. One of them which we kind of expected, one of them which we didn't expect and it's kind of going lower and lower and lower every single time I see him play. So I want to break down everyone by where they're at in the batting order. Ian Happ is doing a fantastic job at leadoff. He's taking his walks, he's making solid contact when he gets a chance, he's doing fine. Second is usually been Wilson Contreras. And I want to save him for last for a good reason. Third is Anthony Rizzo. And Rizzo, we know Rizzo usually starts off kind of slow, but he's actually been making pretty good contact. He has been striking down here and there. He, he still can't hit that low inside curveball to save his life. He hasn't got hit by a pitch yet this year, which is a little weird. <laughs> you can't really like blame him for that. Almost every single time KB hits the ball, it is going 95 plus miles per hour. He's getting an extra base on almost every single one of his hits. He even had one in the third game of the series that was literally one foot away from being a home run. A little worried about Jock Peterson, but I don't know him as well. Maybe he just is a home run or strikeout guy, which is fine. There's a role for that type of player on every team, but he hasn't gotten much contact. He needs, he needs to get the contact numbers up. Baez has been a weird one. So Baez has had some really ugly swings. He's striking out a lot, but when he hits the ball, it is going about 600 feet and I'm okay with it. And I was just saying how a player can be that guy where he strikes out or he gets all or nothing. We can do that. We need just one. And I don't like how Pearson and Baez are both trying to do that rule. But right now, Baez is doing that rule significantly better than Peterson is. Significantly. Yes, he had three strikeouts in that last game, but he also had a home run. And, and honestly, his numbers would probably look way better, both in the terms of strikeouts and RBIs if Pearson didn't get out almost every single time in front of him. Jason Hayward is Jason Hayward. We, we kind of know what to expect with him by now. A lot of ground balls at second base, but he has been getting some good contacts here and there, and he actually has been getting on base here and there, so I'm not too worried about him. So then we kind of come to the guy that kind of rotates in and out. We have either Sogard or Bodie. I can't say much about Sogard because I haven't seen him play as much, but Bodie, who I'm usually pretty critical of, is ripping the ball off its cover as well but it's almost always going towards right somebody, which kind of sucks. And I think that's kind of our main problem right now is we're hitting the ball hard right to somebody. Eventually, that's going to balance out even out throughout the year. Baez, Bodie, Bryant, Rizzo, Hayward at times, Hap are all hitting the ball really hard every single time. You can almost say that with Jock Pearson, but he's actually striking out too much or the results that he's actually getting. Unlike Baez, who actually leads the team in strikeouts, but he's also doing a pretty good job of hitting the ball and getting a lot of home runs. So that's what I'm trying to say is that the negatives outweigh the positives with Peterson right now, where the positive is kind of equal to or greater than for Baez. <sighs> Wilson Contreras. I'm not really sure where to begin. Wilson Contreras is starting off the season with a huge slump. He is striking out all the time. He tried to fight the Milwaukee Brewers. And then today he had an illegal slide that wasn't even close to second base. And I know what you might be thinking. Oh, why would they have to review that rule? Shouldn't be a rule. I don't care. It is a rule. Everyone knows the rule by now. 
he wasn't even close to second base. Wilson's kind of becoming a dirty player. Even last year, he was kind of caught leaning into pitches quite often. And apparently, leaning into pitches only works if you're a New York Met. But man, Contreras is low-key becoming a problem for this team. He's not hitting the ball much. He's striking out at a premium. He's kind of been a hothead this year. And the last few years, he's led the league as errors with as a catcher. On top of that, we already know he's not the greatest at pitch framing. And really, since he started, I feel like our pitchers haven't been doing as well. Is it how he's calling the game? I don't know what it is. Wilson Contreras is a big... Basically, Wilson Contreras right now is being a hothead who has led the last two years in errors as a catcher, who strikes out at a premium with a bunch of uncompetitive at-bats. He needs to break this trend. It is still early, so he does have plenty of time to, to correct his, his ways. But man, it's trending downhill for me and Contreras right now worry for me right now and i hope he turns it around because we still have plenty of time to turn around like i said we don't need to overreact this early into the season but we are i'm noticing some trends that we probably need to break especially because this next part of the schedule is brutal it's whatever hopefully we move on we get better from this game hopefully the ball start landing in places where nobody is hitting that because that's kind of our been our big problems right now i would like to see more competitive from Contreras, jock peterson maybe bias but i'm not really too sure how to judge that just because it seems like it's either a three pitch strikeout or a home run with him i i don't really know what to say everyone else has been getting pretty good at bats so i got nothing to really say hopefully certain pitchers show up because it, i think it's clear to us right now that the bullpen is kind of working hard and doing a pretty good job we need our starting pitching to uh elevate and that's all there really is to say until uh, the milwaukee brewer series which starts tomorrow Hopefully we get some wins there because we, we need a win. We need some wins. Uh, Till then, I will see you next series. Later.